Today I'm going to show you guys how to start a carburetor vehicle, a carbureted vehicle. So first, if you don't know what a carburetor is, or if your vehicle has one, first go ahead and open your hood. We're going to open this hood up. And if you see a filter like this now, this filter comes in different sizes and different um, looks. If you see this, this is a carburetor filter. You most likely have a carburetor. So I'm going to show you what a carburetor looks like. So we're going to go ahead and take the screw off right here or this nut actually this holds down the air, fil air filter um the filter on the carburetor so let's go ahead and take this out it's kind of long to take this out now that we got this off go ahead and put it to the side and we're going to open this up right now we go ahead and now you can see the carburetor now that is your carburetor right there now the way a carburetor works when starting a vehicle like this is you see this right here this is actually attached to the throttle so what's going to happen is when i get into the vehicle i am going to press a couple times this is gonna push back and what's going to happen here it's going to shoot gas into here now what that does it will help ignite the engine so and the other thing is is we do not want to keep on pushing the gas pedal a lot of times because we do not want a lot of gas in here because then it will cause what they call flooding now if you flood your vehicle you're not going to be able to start the vehicle and you're going to have to sit for two hours or even longer to be able to start the car now there is tricks to starting it if you do flood it but you don't want to get there at all. So here is the carburetor and we're gonna go ahead and go inside the car and show you how to start this car. Now, before we go into the vehicle, we're gonna go ahead and put the air filter back on and put the no, nut back onto this. Now, the carburetor, now this is not for every classic car this is a 327 every classic car is different but this will give you a starting basis for your carbureted vehicle or engine that you have in your in in your car so this will definitely give you a starting basis and a very simple how to to do it um this will be the easiest way to start your car and the fastest way without messing anything up if you do not know how to do this. Now that we're in the vehicle, what you wanna do is you're gonna see right here where my foot is, you got the gas pedal. Now what you wanna do is press a couple times, one, two, two times is always a charm, and what that does, when you hear that noise, is putting in gas into the carburetor, what we spoke of before. Now what we're going to do is turn and see if the car starts. Now the car started right away. I did start the car a week ago, so it started right away. But you see how simple that was? We just hit a couple and then turn the ignition and it started right away now sometimes it doesn't do that sometimes you do have to do that a couple times for it to start now once you have the car started and running you definitely want to warm up the car 
before you start actually going ahead and driving your vehicle because it is a carbureted engine so you definitely want that oil going around uh, gas getting into the carburetor more because now that it's running um, I definitely wanted to get heat up just definitely want to let it sit rev it a couple times you know usually I just leave it like this 30 seconds 10 seconds let it off my foot do it again this is just so I can get the RPMs going just so I can get that engine flowing everything lubricated before I start heading out for the day now hit like and subscribe if you like my content to watch more videos